Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to show negative numbers in a chart in a different color for the bars than the positive numbers by using the invert if negative feature in Excel charting. So let's take a look and see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. You can see I have a 12 months and various values for each month. Some of them are negative, some of them are positive, and I've just conditionally formatted these values so that any number below zero will show up in red, any number equal to or above zero just shows up in green. If I click on conditional formatting up here and show manage rules, you can see the formulas B2 is less than zero, bold and red. If it's greater than or equal to zero, bold and green. So that's how those numbers are formatted that way. But notice in the chart, the numbers that are positive are showing up there in green, and the numbers that are negative are showing up in red. And my formula that I have for my values is a ran between formula. So every time I hit the F9 key, it's going to recalculate. So you can see every time it changes, the chart will automatically adjust, but all negative numbers are shown in red below the line, positive numbers shown in green above. So how do we do that in a chart? Well, I'm going to go ahead and delete this chart and start building it from scratch. So I'll highlight my values here, go to the Insert tab in the ribbon, and under Column Charts, I'm going to just select that style. I'll move it up in here. And again, if I hit F9, you'll see that the chart automatically adjusts. The key here is how do we format those colors so the ones above are a different color than the ones below. So I'm just going to right click on any one of the bars, go to Format Data Series, and when that pops up, I'll go over to the Fill in Line choice, and down below there is a checkbox for Invert if Negative. So I'll check that, and notice what it did. It made the ones below in a clear finish or a transparent finish. But I'm going to go ahead, click the drop down for the color selection, and choose green. And notice it made the positive ones green, and a second choice box popped up. So I'll click that down arrow, choose red for that, close my dialog box there. And now, every time I hit F9, the values will automatically refresh, and all the values positively will show up in green, and negatively will show up in red. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.